Sag, this is your reading for the week of August 23rd to the 29th. What is being seen here, first of all, your numbers, 4444, four, 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 really significant. As well as 55, big shifts. And it's not surprising this week for everybody is about a lot of deep movement in our lives within ourselves a lot of endings for new beginnings because we have this full moon in aquarius on sunday the 22nd and this is the second full moon of aquarius in a month which is a very rare occurrence in astrology so you have it coming in here with the moon and the moon can bring illusions, emotions, very deep emotions that come to the surface. You know, it talks about our fears of subconscious um, shadow, things that we haven't really been, been um, dealing with. And here with Aquarius and the lightning of Aquarius, um, we have no choice then to see. And it's hard because sometimes we prefer not seeing, we prefer escaping, we prefer living in the illusion that everything is okay, right? This false sense of security. But the 11th house also showing Aquarius, where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. You might be at this time such reviewing what is who are your true friends what is your true community um i see also coming in here a relationship for some of you that might have had to to end here um, but again remember that when there's death there is rebirth with this infinity symbol means that nothing ends for nothing if that makes sense to you. It's like, there is really no end. We have this body, but we are also a spiritual being. And you have that coming in here, where maybe what is happening in this world for you, in this material world, this week, is pushing you to come back to your spiritual dignity, your spiritual center, door to spirit. And you also had in your astrology cards, Vesta, the goddess within, your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. Look at this beauty. This is who you are. Your immortal spirit, purpose and destiny is involved, the sun, nothing less than the sun. So this illumination is happening this week and it might throw you into the 12th house which is the Pisces, the illusion, the Neptunian factor um, where this area of your life can be overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause of power where there's a need for surrender. The 12th house Pisces has to do with contemplation, reconnecting with the cosmos, the universe. You got the universe here. And by reconnecting with the universe from this heartache and loss that we see here definitely, you get clarity whether when it comes to the movement, the choices and, the choices and decisions that you need to make. And that can have to do with, you see there's a ring here, there's also, you know, um, a sprout that is growing. There's the four elements, the four colors. And so for some of you, it has to do with relationship. For some of you, it has to do with your work, your project, your what is your life mission. But definitely here, there's a, a sense of finding your own independence, originality, which is Aquarius energy. But within the community, how can you serve? How can you um, be yourself, your special self, your unique self? within this world, within this community. We have to say no. So that might have to do with a certain person. You have this thinking woman here, a man holding a coin. 
as well we have yearning longing for someone undesired separation pinning so there is this energy of five of cups but it is a reverse this is regretting or being in heavy emotions and looking back but again reverse means you're getting out of it and that requires patience be patient also here seven of pentacle in reverse a need for you to plant a new seed in your life that is more in tune with who you are as a person and let it grow because we see appreciation we see action here that there's going to be movement forward accelerated motion but that means that you need to express yourself third chakra came in two different decks the same this blue energy that you express yourself authentically that who you find deep down is you and what you truly want what makes you happy you express that whether it is with this person or whether it is within friends social groups how do you fit into the society this is the question and there's a need for strength by the way your two spirits animal here coming in are the lion and the panther spirit reclaim your power Sag reclaim your power co-create with spirit you asked to connect with this universe which is you within you you are the universe and reconnect with yourself because now you see clearly you have the owl and some of you might be singers musicians but it doesn't have to be it's just about singing your own song canary spirit just sing him twice sing and when we sing we sing it comes from the heart the frequency is a higher frequency because when we're very depressed we're very low we cannot sing i don't know if you've noticed it's kind of like we feel ugh, numb we feel no it, it cannot come out but something needs to, needs to come out here spread the light and look forward whatever the situation is and we're gonna get into the tyrant in a moment just keep looking forward because you have a mission you have a certain um thing you're supposed to be doing here in this life and with this death and rebirth that we saw we also have new birth here in the oracle card guarded village diligently so it's not letting anyone get in your way it's maybe keeping things for yourself at this time the moon is also very mysterious every journey starts with a single step I definitely see some of you moving going somewhere else relocating physically or it could be internally where you just decide okay no this is truly what I want and I'm gonna go for it you're, you're seeing at this time the true you and there's a lot of green here it's the heart chakra it's what you feel truly within yourself that is you you're very fertile at this time. Some of you might get pregnant. Potential, powerful creative energy, initiation energy. Being reborn. And maybe get giving birth to a community online or whatever it is. We see here earthy spirituality, community, ocean conservation. Maybe something that has to do with as you reconnect with the universe and Mother Earth, you know, you feel a sense of giving, giving back wave of power a surge of power upswing in energy exhilarating movement look at her how full of herself she is not in an egoic way but in a presence you know you find your spiritual center and quiet dignity where from that a huge power huge energetic power comes out of you and it's passionate you you follow only that we have a heart here time and tide ocean expels and rituals so this calls to the ocean the wave and you know how the moon also relates to the ocean the moon has a magnetic magnetic power very feminine energy 
but it's it's quiet it's inside it can surrender co-create with the universe but it's also huge and powerful because you know how powerful the ocean is and the ocean is being moved by the moon the tides low and high tides so maybe if you find yourself in a lower tide at this time just know that it's moving it's always moving yeah what is already with you you have gifts you have special things to tell the world skills just look into yourself see what you haven't been using see what comes natural to you don't get into this conflict and defeat because you do need to go against the grain at this time to be you and that means sometimes yeah we need to be alone maybe people cannot follow Aquarius is very a visionary sometimes a bit eccentric different but you're different you need to release those allegiances of the past whatever has been keeping you stuck in your life it could be people situations at this time you're releasing that with the help of this full moon aquarius get inspired follow this follow your fire keep dancing we have this um ocean and moon here again theme yeah And remember that even if you find yourself in the in-between, it's a transitional period this time for a lot of people. Something goes spirit that can bring discomfort, fears, because maybe, yeah, we we're closing a chapter, but we don't know where we're going, we're going to the unknown. But remember, with the koi fish here, there is always enough. Trust that you will never be lacking, because if you are in the fear of, mm, I don't want to change my life, you know, I want to stay secure, safe, the illusion of that. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I won't have enough. Maybe you're dependent on a situation that is financial, economical, but just know at this time, you know how the world is changing. How, what is the value of money? What is the value? We all need to find our own way right now to maybe simplify our lives, maybe relocate and see where we can actually follow our dreams, follow who we truly are. There's a lot of creative creativity coming in here with just saying and make it work because sometimes living a more simple life, which doesn't demand so much money, means that you're not going to be working your life to survive, but maybe you can start really um appreciating you have appreciation here every moment you know every single thing every, every single breath having this gratitude of of life of the life that you are and appreciating yourself that means appreciating your uniqueness and letting it express itself throat chakra again you know, that's the most important in this life because really all of the monetary and financial and <laughs> um, aspect of this material life is, you know, when you're dead, you're not, you cannot bring any of that. So how can you find a way to live true to you, happy and not burdened by so much heaviness material heaviness emotional heaviness and the heaviness comes when we are not aligned with our authentic self here with the tarot you get the eight of sword in reverse the moon and the devil yeah so definitely here with the moon and the devil all of those fears maybe addictions, codependency with a particular relationship, um, too much mind activity, compulsive mind activity, which is just memories from the past that are just replaying themselves over and over again on this repeat CD. 
But what I love to see here is that you have the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is all of this that has held you back, that has imprisoned you, you know, feeling stuck. You're releasing it. It is reverse. Now, there's demands that from the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Hermit and Death and Rebirth, Major Akarna. With the moon, by the way, so two major arcanas, that's big shifts in your life. Maybe you thought, what you thought was your happiness is no longer. There is an end for a new beginning here and you're starting to see the light. The hermit needs to be alone a little bit. And that will help you go deeper and activate this rebirth. Some of you might have to separate, divorce for that. It's huge shifts, guys. It's really not easy at this time. But from this void that we see in the mind space, there's a connection to your star, your star, following your star, following your bliss. And here with his Five of Cups in reverse, that is you releasing all of those heavy emotions, you need to have this patience. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Let this seed grow, this new seed grow. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of releasing this past. Because those emotions, those heavy emotions have not, have prevented you from growing you and from growing your the life of your dreams and as well Sag you have knight of wands in reverse that could be a fire sign that could have been a little bit in and out of your life not really trustworthy it could have been very tempting to be with this person but this person maybe have has all those addictions issues and maybe you didn't see clearly before, but now in the center of your read, this hermit is calling to illumination. You're seeing the light. And as you allow yourself to be reborn here, to see maybe looking forward and getting onto this new journey, which is every journey starts with a single step, remember? From now on, you're gonna guard yourself more vigilantly. You're not gonna let the illusions the fantasy world, the thinking that this person is that but is not, you know, you're now deciding, choosing for yourself what is the life that you truly desire. And yeah, a lot of strength is needed as, at this time. A lot. And that's inner strength. Now, underneath, the tower deck, we had the king of sword, king of wands, and the world. A cycle is completing. Somebody is maybe moving. But what I love to see here, Sag, is that the king of wands and the king of swords, those are the kings. They have learned the lessons. And having the air and fire energy, you have the mental clarity here. And the King of Wands is this boss energy, entrepreneur, going for it with this lion again. Holding the light, holding the torch. And all the Seven of Swords, all of what was hidden, you know, whatever was taken from you behind your back or whatever was shady is being released. It is in reverse, okay? So don't be afraid of getting onto this new path at this time, Sag. I'm going to finish with some Dream Totem here for you. Sag, August 23rd, 29th, please. Advice. No more shuffle. Confidence. Confidence is needed at this time, Sag. Bravery, ah, yeah. It's time to rail in your warrior spirit. 
Not all conflict has to be a fight. The wise warrior will choose their battles carefully, weighing up risk on the road to achievement. Yeah? And underneath creativity, how beautiful. There are ways of dealing with the situation without giving away your power. So whatever this communication that is has to happen with this third chakra here, with whoever it is, be wiser than the other person. That don't let don't go down to their level. If they are searching for drama or, you know, trying in to manipulate you emotionally, um, intellectually, mentally, don't let them stay calm we have this spiritual center and quiet dignity stay the wise warrior think of creative methods in which you can be heard and maintain your dignity exactly yeah so Saj I hope this was helpful for you please um, take care of yourself this week it's not easy but you're gonna make it you have the fire within you you have a higher spirit than other zodiac signs and just go as you are Sagittarius with this straight arrow just go for it keep looking forward and you can do it okay so I hope this was helpful for you please take care again and I will see you next week